Hey guys, welcome to another Robbie John tutorial. Hey, uh, so today we're gonna cover um, like a motion sensor light. Um, it's really simple. We're just going to use a uh, touched event that basically triggers when a player hits a certain area that the light will basically turn on. So <clears throat> an example for this, I can show you sort of what I've got going on here. Um, a lot of these are actually used for like horror games and whatever else. Um, but in my situation, that light right there is not on. But when you enter the area, the light will pop on. Super simple. And it'll go off automatically after a certain amount of time if no one's moved or whatever. Um, so yeah, now it's off. Yo, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because there's only 67 of you subscribed. And uh, yeah, I'm just here to help y'all out with these tutorials and whatnot. So yeah, hit that subscribe button and then also like the video. Uh, you can also find that in my Discord under the YouTube uh, tab, there's going to be the scripts and all that good old jazz underneath the link of the video that I had made. So go there and you can see the scripts and you can compare them to what you wrote yourself. And hopefully if you have any problems, they'll be fixed right there. All right, guys, back to the video. Okay, guys, so in this situation, it's gonna be pretty simple. We're gonna have our uh, light here. I'll make a, um, and then we're also going to have a sensor. So let's, for example here, let's put these both into a model. So just group them together. You can do Control G, and that'll put them together. So now you can see that they're together in the model. Um, we can name this one, I'll make this the light. And then this will be the sensor that the players touch. So let's rename this to sensor. <clears throat> so in this situation, we basically want to have a light emit when you touch the sensor. So let's have, let's say the sensor is like here. You can make the sensor as big as you want, just wherever you want. Um, as soon as the player touches this, it's going to change the, the, the light. So inside of the light, let's put some type of point light, or you can do, there's actually a lot of different lights you could use. Here, let me just type in light, it'd be easier. So you've got spotlights, surface lights, and point lights. Um, from my understanding, I actually don't really know a ton about spotlights. I, I guess they work like that. It's really nice that uh, Roblox made it so it's easier to see, but I don't think I've ever really used spotlights. I've always used uh, point lights and surface lights. Um, so with a point light, it's usually like something that emits like in a room most of the time is what people use it for. And then, um, the surface light will come off of like the surface. So for example, here, surface light, you put that in there and whichever way the direction is on the surface light, you can change the face of it and it'll change whichever direction the light is coming from. So let's do, for an example, let's have the light go off this way, right? And then we're gonna turn the enabled off. So in our situation, what we're gonna have happen is you're gonna touch this piece. Let's actually turn can collide off so you can walk through it. And then um, I'll make this a different color do just so it's easier. We'll make it red so once you touch that, it'll go off. And then um, the light here, we can make it so also that the uh, the brick will change color as well. So like um, in certain circumstances, like uh, you might have a glass, right? So let's do like glass and then like a transparency of this, right? So like you'll have your light and make it look a certain way or whatever. But once it turns on, it'll just turn to neon. So let's make our script quick. It's very, very simple script that we're going to have here. So you have all of your things here well let's collide them so it's a lot easier or sorry close them so it's a lot easier to figure out so it's really simple we have our script inside of our sensor and you can do uh, script um, dot parent i mean you can also do you can define your your thing too so you could do like uh, local sensor is equal to script dot parent um, but you don't have to even do that. You could literally just do like script.parent and then, um, you know, dot touched and then connect 
basically that way. But since we have it um, defined here, you can just change this to sensor because we have our own thing. So really simple. And then um, you wanna make this a function and then you can do, uh, well, there's a couple different ways you could do this. You could do player. So it would uh, figure out if it's a player that's touching this or you could do hit. And then we could determine um, if it's like what is actually hitting it. So there's a couple different ways we can do it. And we're just doing it this way because it's pretty simple. Um, so if hit um, dot parent, and then we could do uh, find first child, um, which is, well, we could do also, which is a, and then we could do humanoid. So if hit a parent, find first child, which is a humanoid then. So basically we're saying if something hits this sensor and it's a humanoid, then we're going to have something happen. Um, and then it's really simple. You just basically change the uh, the looks of everything on here. So um, we want to enable the light. So uh, let's also define the light. It, it'll be super easy to do that too. So local um, light is equal to, um, we're going to just do script dot, or we can do sensor technically dot parent dot light and then you want to get the surface light or whatever type of light you wanted to use and then that's that's it and then all you do here is uh light dot enabled is equal to true real easy and then you can let's see here i'm just trying to see how else so that, it's actually it'll work now but if you do that, it'll basically make it so the light stays on. And if you want a light to kind of turn off, so the light, well, what happened to my, oh, they're not anchored. Ha, 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 ha. All right, we'll anchor these. It just fell right through. So there we go. So now we touch this, boom, you can kind of see the, the light here. Maybe we should make the light a different color just to uh, help it out a little bit. There we go. The color will be red, so you can see like a red light pop off of it. Yeah, you see, you can see the red glow a little bit. And then you can also change like the brightness and stuff too. So if you change this to like a three, it's gonna be a lot like brighter than a one. So boom, now you can definitely see the light. And depending on how you want to, your you know effects of lighting to work, that's how you can do it. But um, let's go back into here. Uh, this is pretty simple. Um, essentially, we can also make uh, the light. Let's do, how about we do this? Light.parent. So basically, we're getting the surface light and then the parent of it, which is going to be the regular light. Um, and then uh, we want to do dot material and then equal to neon. I think that's pretty much all you have to do too. And then if you hit wait and let's do like 10 seconds, then we'll just make it so that uh, light dot enabled is equal to false. And uh, we'll do light dot parent dot material is equal to glass back to where it was. Um, there, there's a couple other ways you can do this too. Uh, this is probably like the more like super basic easy way to do it because what's going to happen is is every time someone let's let's say every time someone walks into it um it's just going to activate so like there might be a situation where people just keep running through the light will stay on um but hey you know so like i don't know if it'll completely reset but if you wanted to you could actually do like a debounce so if you did it like this, let's do uh, let's do local debounce is equal to uh, false. Okay. So if you do if hit up parent and debounce is equal to false, then 
So basically what we're saying is is if if the debounce is false, then you can go through here and then you want to make the debounce true here so that it can't get reactivated. So debounce is equal to true now. And then after you wait 10 seconds, you can change it back to false. So then debounce is now equal to false again. And that's really simple. So now it won't trigger a bunch of times if someone walks over it. So uh, let's show you how it works. So you go over and if you're standing on it, after like 10 seconds, even if you walk through it again, the debounce is false, but the 10 seconds will go by and it'll turn off and then you can walk through it again and it'll go off. And you can see that the light is neon too. It's no longer uh, glass until it goes back off. So you'll see this turn back to glass, boom. But then you go and touch it and the light's back on. Pretty simple, straightforward. All right, guys, hopefully uh, that helps you out a little bit. Um, and I hope you all have a great day. Take it easy, be safe out there, stay healthy. Later.